Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. You know what it is? Yeah. Hot 97, Cypher Sounds. Hello. Rosenberg, K Fox. Ooh-ooh. Thank you. Um, today, we are joined by Irony Singleton. Yeah. You you may know him as T Dog from Walking Dead, if you're a geek for Walking Dead oh, like yeah. I am. Oh, thank you. What um, up? And his co writer on his biography here, Juliet Terzieff. It's a pleasure. Now, I am a huge, huge fan of Walking Dead. Uh, first thing I gotta ask you is, are you still passionate and into the show now, even though you haven't been on for a year? I am still so passionate about the show. I had a convention the other day, they asked me about that, and if I were never in that show, I would still be the biggest fan of it. I just, I love the show. It's a great show. I gotta say though, be honest with you, Uh huh. I was disappointed in last night's episode. I didn't see last night's episode. Well, you didn't I, miss anything. I didn't miss it. Oh. It was one of those, it was, I think the last oh. two weeks... They sort of took off in a sense, like nothing really happened for two weeks. Huh. It was sort of interesting little moments, you know. It's probably set up episodes. Well, they're sort of like the Sopranos in the way, like within five minutes, if you see they're going a direction for the show, you can be like, "This is the show." Right. So, like last week, they went on this mission and they ran into this old guy who hadn't been around since the first episode, and I'm like, "Oh, this is the whole episode. They're literally going to do this for 50 minutes. Okay. They're going to talk to that guy." So last night I was a little disappointed. It was the big. A moment between Rick and the governor finally having their one-on-one, and when it became clear nothing was going to happen from it, I was like, damn, ain't nothing going to happen this week. (laughs) Well, now, see, I love the stuff with Morgan, the way he came back. I mean, we haven't seen him since season one, but his performance, Lenny James, was phenomenal. This is the character who who Rick, who first befriended Rick in the first episode. Yeah, he saved his life. So if you're someone out there who's never seen The Walking Dead and don't know why it's so so awesome. I got you, so well, I've oh. seen Never? a few episodes. She's seen a few. And I, I couldn't a... watch anymore because I was morbidly depressed after watching it because it's like... Well, you're like... very strange, Kifa. No, I was depressed. Show. It's like do... <laughs> there's zombies and... Yeah. W- and... What are you doing for entertainment? Right. It's a hard show to watch. I mean, it t- <laughs> you know, you're just fighting <laughs> zombies oh, 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 all day. Real quick, real quick. Kay Fox, are you concerned <laughs> in with this new zombie apocalypse world, you're concerned with, with the lack of ability to get it popping in that <laughs> yes. world. Uh-huh. It's so depressing. What are you doing to lighten up your spirits? Yo, What's your outlet? What is wrong dead. with her? Yeah. Serious, too. <laughs> she's dead serious. Is no that what everyone looks forward to, killing zombies? Oh, my um, God. Some people like it. You know, some people don't. Uh, most people, a lot of people like the human drama that exists between the characters. So it's kind of like a soap opera meets... Killing the zombie world. No, no, world. you're misunderstanding what she's asking. Yeah. She wants to know uh-huh. in this made up fantasy fictional world, world, fictional, fictional right, world, right, right. what do you look forward to doing, T Dog, the character? Oh, what does T Dog like to do in that fictional world? Slicing and dicing the zombies, I guess, giving it to them in the brain. <laughs> but, but um, I mean, it's, it's fun, you know what I mean? It could be fun. You know? But wait a minute. He's a black guy. Yeah. In yeah. a world full of zombies. Yeah, you yeah. know what's going to happen. And statistics show <laughs> that we don't. Survive. That's the thing, though. T Dog lasted for three seasons. Good job. People thought, well, Good t- job. People thought T Dog. People thought. Thank you. People thought T Dog was gonna die in the opening credits. Right. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> now, you know. But it didn't. It didn't happen this well, time. Why does so. his name have to be T Dog on the show? His now his real is Theodore uh, T Dog Douglas. So Theodore That's is really his real. Black. That's his name. What, Theodore? <laughs> no, T-Dog. Oh, T-Dog. Why? Because it's ter- the Theodore from the T, and then Doug. It's like, dog, T-Dog. Yeah, yeah, T-Dog. And, I mean, it takes place around the Atlanta area, so it's, you know. Kind I know of, a lot of T-Dogs down in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know many yeah, yeah. T-Dogs down <laughs> there. But, but One's did, a bouncer. Yeah. <laughs> but the backstory was, for T-Dog, I said he played college football. And, you know, athletes always get these nicknames. You know what I mean? So, like, they wouldn't say, hey, Theodore, throw the ball. Right. Theodore T-Dog. on the football field? Not type. T Dog. Yeah, now, yeah. So all, what what is the deal with what's your history with football? Because you've been in three football movies I saw yeah. at least. Big part in the Blind Side, but you were in, you were in other ones besides Remember that. Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans. That was a big one. Yeah. And what was the other one? Another uh, football movie. I can't. Yeah. Were you in the Sandler one? No. A lot of people oh, think I was yard. in uh, the Longest Yard, no. but I was not. Oh, it's on your Wikipedia page. Yeah, I know. They put it on there. They put it on my IMDb, too. That's racist. That's they racist. They confuse, <laughs> they confuse you with some black dude. What other black guy do they confuse you with? I don't know. So uh, he looks like T-Dog from The Walking Dead. Let's put it on his IMDb. So did, were, um, were you an athlete yourself? I was an athlete. I played football at the University of Georgia. Go dog. Sick. Oh, wow. You played you played at Georgia. I played I played at Georgia, yeah. Um, And I played running back. I played DB for two years. Then I switched to running back because I had a whole bunch of DBs to come in. 
Champ Bailey, and who is a an eleven time All Pro, a former Washington Redskins, former important. Washington Redskins. So turn it up. was him and a whole turn bunch up. of what would you say? Well, yeah, I'm a Redskins fan, so oh, okay. I love Champ for many years. Many yeah, years. yeah. So I had a whole bunch of DBs come in, so I switched to running back, and uh, worked out the same way. Not much playing time. So. <laughs> so that's what you decided acting it would be. Yeah, I said acting. The, the plan was to go pro and then use that money to invest in my acting career. Oh, but so you it always wanted to act. Way. Always wanted to act, I think, as far back as 11 years old, maybe, but it became more pronounced when I got to the 12th grade senior. Did a, did a monologue and, um, about the I Have a Dream speech, Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech, came in second place. And I was like, wow, I really like this. This is cool. Maybe I can pursue this. And my teacher, my English teacher, said, well, no, you need something more practical. Because in the monologue, I touch on being an acclaimed actor on the big screen and all that. She's like, no, that's, you're from the projects. Mm. And, Damn. you know, that That, that really tough. happens? Maybe you should a be a dentist. really will just break down your spirit like that? Yeah, she, I mean, that's she crazy. was in her mind. See, that was her mindset. She's like, somebody from the projects, you don't really have much of a chance of really getting out of here. So to say you're going to be on the big screen, that's right. really a stretch. That's horrible. So, you know, she was a great teacher, though. It's just that, that she had a limited the mindset. Also, they're supposed to inspire yeah. you. They're supposed to inspire you, yeah. But, you know, I guess. Not every teacher. Think about right. a lot of teachers are just people with a job. With a job. Their See, job he, is just He needed to, yeah. to go to a performing arts school. That's where you Well, you know what, K Fox? I'm going to be honest me. with you. It, it actually worked out for him, all right. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you heard the part about him being in movies and a hit television show. God I mean, Emmy Award winning. God is good. Despite yeah. the fact. Yeah. Now, there are a few racial issues with um, this show. We talk about yeah. race a lot on this show. Yeah. Black and Puerto Rican and a Jew. It's what we do. Yeah. yeah. So, what, black, what, black, Puerto Rican? Black, Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican, Jew. Okay, gotcha. Black, yeah, yeah, she's, no, he's the black. Okay. Although, the truth, be told, the truth be told, truth be told, mentally and emotionally, that part, that is sort of accurate. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm like an old uh, Jewish man. I wish I was black. She dances. You know, she's got that Puerto Rican swing in her hand. She says all her Spanish words, like very Pronounce. Yeah, she loves yeah. pronouncing Christina Aguilera's What's name. What's the girl? <laughs> you, on the voice? On the, Christina oh. Aguilera. What is it? Aguilera. 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 Let me, let me see the tongue roll. Aguilera. 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 So, right from the beginning, one of the first, maybe it's the first episode, yes, you and uh, Merle get into it. Oh. Merle. And Merle says some pretty crazy. Does he drop the N word in the first episode? He does, right? Yes, in the second it's episode. The second, second episode. episode. Yeah, and yeah. and what is the context? Because if they haven't seen it, I know K Foss will get very angry about it. So, what is the context of the N word dropping with Merle in that episode? Um, you guys are on the roof when it happens, right? We're on the rooftop. He's losing his mind, shooting the shotgun, shooting the zombies. Atlanta's alerting. falling to right. zombies. Right. Like it already has, right. really. And he's putting the group in danger by yeah. shooting off his gun and right. attracting the zombies. Right. And so, bringing all the zombies around, and I'm upset, and the whole group is upset about it. So, I let him hear about it, and out of his anger and out of his ir irrationality, he calls me a nigga. Well, he doesn't call me a nigga. He calls me a nigger. Mm. So right. Nan's on and popping. Right. So, so I try to catch him with the left hook. Mm. But then he, he retorts. He ducks. He comes back with the shotgun. So the shotgun took me out because I got a lot of messages from people saying, how he take you out? How he take you out? Like I said, he had the shotgun. He got me on the forehead with the shotgun. I like can how you people do? ask you how that happened Dead when serious. it's written into a story. <laughs> right. <laughs> it happened to T Dog. Right. You had to make right. it. That's what the right. story is. People become attached to the characters, though. I right? know. Yeah. Yeah, they get, yeah. They really kind of live vicariously yeah. through. They them. think it's a reality Absolutely. show. Absolutely. And yeah. it messed up, though, all these years later. Guess who's still around? Merle. Merle. I, who was we just Merle? saw him yesterday. Yes, Michael Rowe. Oh, he's awesome. Played but that. a lot of people have said, though, that they seem to refuse to allow more than one black character to be alive on the show at the Ooh. same time. How do you, how do you, because you got killed. Then they brought in Oscar. Oscar. Oh yeah. yeah the then prisoner. he got killed. He got killed. Then Tyrese came in. Yeah. He got. He's gone. Tyrese, Tyrese was on there. Not that Tyrese. Oh. The character. <laughs> they killed Tyrese. They killed Baby Boy. Coca Cola. They killed Baby Boy. Not Baby Boy. Don't worry. No, it wasn't. <laughs> and then they bring me shown in after that. Right. So yeah, how, yeah. how do you feel about that? Was that ever something that's been addressed with the, the the staff of the show? Like, why can't more than one black person seem to survive on the show it one time? Atlanta, right. You would I think mean, in the Atlanta area. There'd be at least a few. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 At, at least, at least ten, right? <laughs> and none of them were down low, brothers. That's also not accurate. <laughs> if it's about shoot, Atlanta, do they shoot at the Lennox the Mall at all? Because there would be enough black people on that show. <laughs> no, that, that was the one place. That was the one place that black people bonded together <laughs> and would not let the zombies get into Lennox Mall. <laughs> no, but did anyone ever address that? Um, no, no, none of the execs, but um, a lot of fans addressed that. But mm -hmm. no, we never. We don't know if it's just just a co it's just a coincidence. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Just to, I got to get used to this mic. All right, testing. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's just a coincidence, I, I would say. You Is know, it I can't, really a coincidence? I can't, I can't get in the mind, uh, into the minds of the executives. So, I mean, you'd, you'd have to ask them that. But I don't know. For me, it's just. I'll tell you one thing he is going to do. Not mess up those great residual checks he's right. getting. That's what he's not going to do. In other words. When they start a new series. <laughs> in other words, if everything was all gravy with Walking Dead. I'll tell you that right now. So, real quick. This book is available now. It's called Blindsided by the Walking Dead, from surviving the streets oh, to man. slaying the geeks. Um, so this is about your life and your struggles and how you made it from where you were in the projects yes, all sir. the way up to uh, Walking Dead. Yes, sir. It's um, it's an incredible book, and it would not be the book it is without this amazingly talented, brilliant co-writer of mine. She's she's awesome. Um, it's powerful. It's inspirational. It, it speaks to so many people, so many demographics, kind of like, like The Walking Dead in a sense. If, if you're a Walking Dead fan, you want to pick up that book because it has a lot of amusing anecdotes in there about that. The Blind Side, if you're a fan of that show, which is the biggest sports movie of all time, you want to pick it up for that. And then all of the different, I touch on so many things from, we, we touch on relationships to what politics, religion, race. Every, it, there's something in there for every. Body, I would say. Yeah. Now it's PG thirteen, so you'd like to, you know, it, it depends on the mindset. So certain kids are ready to read it. Like I said, I'm from the projects, so it can be a little grimy, a little so graphic. Real at stuff times. happens. Right? Real Very stuff. Very real. It's real stuff. Wait, so your real name is Iron E? My my government name is Robert Singleton. That's my government okay. name. Uh, but Iron E is my stage name. Okay. And I mean, the thing about the book is that you know, Iron E has faced, you know nearly insurmountable odds. I mean, he had the, everything was so stacked against him, his family life, his, the environment he was in, all of his experiences, everything was working against him. And he's a survivor. Like T-Dog on the show, The Walking Dead, he's a survivor. He's fought every step of the way. And for anybody out there, whether they're a young kid or someone trying to get into acting or someone with a dream that they're trying to hold on to, it's the perfect book for them because yeah. there were so many times when he was down and being kicked and he never gave up. And it's just, it's amazing. How? And How did you do that? God. Well, his God his is, faith God is, is unshakable. That's a good answer. Yeah. It's a solid. <laughs> it's not one, one that, word. You can't question that, right? I know. Available. Right, yeah. never got no, it. And, I mean, we're not I talking. Like we don't have that one in our staff. <laughs> yeah, I don't have I don't have, <laughs> yeah, I don't have it. I can't pull it out. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Do you guys hear something? It's God. <laughs> it's God no, speaking. it's not God. It's something. It's the opposite <laughs> of God. Do you hear something? Uh -huh. I'm afraid to ask. 